Hey, what's happening everybody? This is Tony coming at you with a daily devotion. Just a quick word of encouragement to start your day. So I'm here in my kitchen and as I was getting ready to prepare a meal, I thought about the book of John chapter 6 and verse 51. In the New King James Version it says, I am the living bread which came down from heaven. If anyone eats of this bread, he will live forever. And the bread that I shall give is my flesh, which I shall give for the life of of the world. So here in John chapter 6, uh, the Jews, after being fed, you know, we're talking over 5,000 people with leftovers from just two fish and five loaves of bread that he multiplied. But however, they wanted another miracle the next day. They wanted physical bread like the people of Israel when they received manna that came down from heaven when they were in the wilderness. But Jesus let them know that the bread they wanted was not enough to keep them alive forever. So by saying he is the living bread, Jesus is saying that he is the spiritual sustenance that came down from heaven. And when you partake of this bread, you will not die. But our bodies, they need physical bread for nourishment. But we must eat the living bread, talking about believing in Jesus Christ to live forever. Jesus Christ sacrificed his physical earthly body for the sins of the world. When we trust and believe in Jesus Christ as the atoning sacrifice of our sins, we will receive eternal life. Through Christ, we have a new way of living and we are walking in newness of life. Why is that? Natural bread is earthly. It satisfies our hunger. It gets old and moldy also, and it has preservatives to help it last longer. But spiritual bread satisfies our every need. It's heavenly, it stays fresh for eternity, and it has one main ingredient that never gets old or needs preservation. Jesus Christ, he is our living bread that sustains us, and his, it nourishes us, and it satisfies us. So the next time you wake up to start your day off by fueling your bodies with earthly food, don't forget to fuel your mind with spiritual food through the word of God, our living bread. Let's pray. God, we thank you for giving us your son, Jesus Christ, as a sacrifice for us all. God, will you continue to sustain us, nourish us, and satisfy us through your word. We thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless.